Hey everybody, so I'm reading this book called Nonviolent Communication and it is absolutely fabulous and I'm only in chapter three. So when the basic components, the first component of nonviolent communication entails a separation of observation from evaluation. In other words, uh, we tend to express an evaluation based on our observation and the problem is, is we should actually keep them separate. Interesting thought, right? Well, let me read you this poem by Ruth Bebemeyer, which is included here in this book. And I think it kind of really shows you the difference between observation versus an observation without it, within evaluation. Because when we talk to our kids or to anybody else, Sometimes the things that we say are rather hurtful um, and judgmental, and they bring about shame and blame, and so those are red ants, and we have to stay away from our red automatic negative thoughts. We really do. Um, so let me read you this poem. I've never seen a lazy man. I've seen a man who never ran. Well, I watched him, and I've seen a man who sometimes slept between lunch and dinner and who'd stay at home upon a rainy day, but he was not a lazy man. Before you call me crazy, think, was he a lazy man, or did he just do things we label lazy? I've never seen a stupid kid. I've seen a kid who sometimes did things I didn't understand, or things in ways I hadn't planned. I've seen a kid who hadn't seen the same places where I had been, but he was not a stupid kid before you call him stupid. Think, was he a stupid kid? Or did he just know different things than you did? I've looked as hard as I can look, but never e ever seen a cook. I saw a person who combined ingredients on which we dined, a person who turned on the heat and watched the stove that cooked the meat. I saw those things, but not a cook. Tell me when you're looking, is it a cook you see? Or is it someone doing things that we call cooking? What some of us call lazy, some call tired or easygoing. What some of us call stupid, some just call a different knowing. So I've come to the conclusion, it will save us all the confusion. If we don't mix up what we can see with what is our opinion, because you may, I want to say also, I know that's only my opinion. So as we're going about our week, let's stop and think, is the evaluation necessary? Should I give the observation and keep it separate from the evaluation? Have a good one.